Welcome back to Barbecue My Way. We are making some gumbo today. Uh, it's a cold day outside and we're gonna be watching some football, so gumbo's perfect. And I'm ready to get started because I've got my sous chef back here working hard. So let's get rolling. As you probably know, gumbo originates in Louisiana and it's, it's kind of a cross section of uh, African, European, and Native American cuisine. Uh, with today's gumbo, we're gonna be using actually chicken breast we're using uh, smoked sausage, and we're also uh, going to be using some shrimp. And gumbo in general, by definition, it can really be just any sort of protein, any sort of meat, any sort of, you'd be surprised some of the things they put in gumbo, um, along with some sort of a broth. In this case, we use a very dark roux to create a very dark, rich broth. Um, and then you serve it typically uh, over rice with, of course, vegetables. In this case, we're gonna have onions, bell peppers, and celery. So. Uh, Let's get going. We've got to put some texture on the meat. All right, we've got our uh, cast iron Dutch oven. We've got it on medium heat, medium to medium high heat. And we're going to add roughly a teaspoon or so of vegetable oil. And then we are going to put some texture onto the sauces. This is two 14 ounce packages of smoked sausage. So we're just gonna saute these up and give a little color. All right, so now you can see we've got a little bit of color. We've got some stuff starting to stick at the bottom, which is fine. That's flavor that's gonna come up as we create the broth. So now we're just going to remove the sausage and set it aside. All right, we've got three chicken breasts. That's probably two and a half to three pounds of chicken. You can use thighs, and what I'm doing now is just applying some uh, Crayol rub. This is one that, that I've made, and I'll put the directions for or the ingredients down below. Um, a lot of the recipes call for uh, thighs. We went to the store today and the thighs were actually more expensive than the chicken breasts. And Liz is like, we're not paying more for thighs than chicken breasts. And I agree with her. So today's version will be a little lower in fat, a little leaner, but it should be delicious. So what we're going to do is get these covered nicely with the, with the rub and then we're going to saute them in that fat over there from the uh, sausage to kind of give them some texture. All right, so we're bringing the cast iron or the uh, Dutch oven back up to medium heat. A lot of people look at this and think, oh my gosh, that stuff's burnt. That's flavoring that's going to come up later. But uh, we're going to do one breast at a time. This will not fully cook the breasts. All we're really doing, and eh, we can get two in there as long as it doesn't drop the temperature too much. All we're really doing is creating texture and color, and the chicken will actually end up cooking in the broth itself. All right, it's been about five minutes over medium to medium high heat, so let's turn them. Start to see some nice color there. A little bit of texture. And remember, we're not cooking these all the way through. Using this method, they'll finish cooking in the uh, broth itself. All right, now we're adding the half cup of oil and the flour, one cup of flour, and this is where we make the roux. And when we're done with the roux, it's gonna be dark as chocolate. It's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes over medium heat. And I'll show you stages of it. All right, I ended up adding just another tablespoon or so of oil. This is about the consistency you want. And it's starting to darken. It's probably been about seven to nine, eh, 10 minutes maybe of stirring and uh, the next shot we will see it should be a nice dark chocolate roux. All right here's what we look like now it's very close to chocolate uh, this is about the right time and now we start adding the vegetables about a cup and a half of celery Two cups of onion, and 
and one cup of bell, well, about one and a half cups of bell pepper. So now I'm going to saute all this down with the roux and it'll release fluids which will then bring up the rest of those pieces of flavoring on the bottom of the pot. All right, now we're going to start slowly adding the chicken stock or chicken broth, kind of one wave at a time. And that's, this is what really, whoop, a little spillage there. And we're going to leave it on medium, but that's what's really going to start bringing up all the uh, flavors that are stuck to the bottom. And we're going to slowly add it and mix it. Now, when you get a roux as dark as we got this one, a light roux has a lot more thickening potential to it. A dark roux doesn't thicken things as much. Now, we're going to be doing adding roughly nine cups of chicken broth to this. I'm trying to do it without spilling. Let's try it again. See, when you over pour, So we're going to get all this in there, bring it to a boil, then let it simmer, add a few more things, and you can feel that all the bottom is getting smooth again as the flavors are brought up by the broth. All right, we're starting to come up to a slight boil, so we're going to turn it down to medium or to medium low, and now we're going to add one teaspoon of salt, three bay leaves and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay, we're going to let all that cook a bit. We're probably, we're going to be moving this to a bigger pot. Our measurements visually were not quite accurate, or I should say mine. I thought this Dutch oven could take it all, but um, we're going to be moving everything to a bigger pot here. So when we come back, we'll be adding the sausage, the chicken, and uh, letting it simmer for a while. All right, we're up to a low boil. I've got it in our new pot. We didn't have one like between the cast iron or between the Dutch oven and this one. I think we have one, but it's been used for something else. So we had to overkill a little bit, but this is certainly better. So we are now going to add the sausage that's been cooked or browned, I should say. And we're going to let this simmer uncovered for roughly 20 minutes or so. And then we're gonna add the chicken breasts and let them finish cooking. And then we'll pull the chicken breasts out. Well, I'll tell you about that when we get there. All right, now we're gonna add the chicken thighs or chicken breasts that have been browned, but not cooked all the way. They're gonna finish cooking in the broth. We're going to bring that back up to a simmer and let it cook for about an hour. All right, so what I did was I pulled the chicken out and have cut it up into bite-sized pieces, now putting it back in the soup. Bring it up to a simmer again. We're about ready. All right, now we're adding a half a cup of chopped green onions. All right, now we're adding the filet, which is kind of the secret. And now we are adding the parsley. And we, my friends, are about ready to serve some kick butt gumbo. Works every week now. Yeah, every week. Liz is serving it. We're going to love it. Give it a try.